One of the best ways to get your feet a little wet is to volunteer to do SQN with the Ohio Scenic Rivers Program. The Scenic Rivers Program came up with the Stream Quality Monitoring Program, which you are all here for. And uh, this is a way that we can help educate people about the quality, water quality, and indicators of how to identify water quality, but it also helps give us eyes on the water. They started um, looking at SQM in about 1982 is when they started doing some sampling and playing around with it, but the program really didn't kick off until 1986, and that's when they started doing regular sampling on all of the designated rivers at that point in time. So um, rivers like the Little Miami, uh, Big and Little Darbies, we have data for them all the way back to 1986. We just sampled a portion of the Ashtabula State Scenic River, or specifically we went into the riffle area of the stream where there's small substrates such as sand and gravel and larger substrates such as cobbles and boulders. Because there's 20 organisms that we use as water quality determinators and we have ID sheets in there and that's what you're going to look at in just a few minutes. So you might as well pull those ID sheets up. They look like this. There should be three of them. We always face downstream. Of course, the water flows in and the bugs flow in with it. Our total was a 30, which means that this stream is doing excellent. So a 22, a score of 22 or above is an excellent rating. What'd you find? What'd you find? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, look at the things crawling. What I do is I break down each of the river miles, so I may have two or three different volunteers at a river mile, but I take all of their scores and combine them together and do an average. And then that average allows us to compare it to the years before to see if the trend is going up or if it's on a downscale. The stream quality monitoring program within the Scenic Rivers program was designed for the average citizen to be able to participate. And basically it's for educational purposes, but it is still a very valuable tool because we are still checking the water quality uh, with these insects. Anybody in any walk of life can do this. You don't have to be a scientist, you don't have to have a scientific degree or anything else. It's just a great way to help with the rivers. Uh, we got a high population density, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on the land, a lot of pressure on the water, a lot of pressure on the natural resources of the state. So we need the professionals like we have at the Department of Natural Resources, these experts in all these different areas to work with people and the communities, landowners, to just make sure that all these resources get wisely used and not overutilized and taken for granted. So. It's very, I think it's very important that Ohio is a leader in protection of natural resources. Go gentle. Atta girl. 